In this tutorial, I'll show you how to restart the level when the health falls to zero. I'll show you how to flip the car if it lands on its side or on its roof. And I'll show you how to restart the level if the car falls off the edge of the world. Open the file made in the previous tutorial. You can make the file yourself or download it from my website. When the health property falls to zero, I simply want to restart the level. I'm going to add the logic bricks to do so to the empty object that I renamed game. Select the empty. Before I add the logic bricks, I'm going to close up the last set that I added. And before I do that, it's a good idea to give them meaningful names. Click the white triangles to close up the logic bricks. Then I'm going to add a property sensor, an AND controller, and a scene actuator. When the property health is equal to zero, I want a signal to be sent through to the scene actuator, which will restart the scene. Before I test that, click the plus to open up the properties panel and set the initial value of health to two for testing. Now if I start the level and deliberately drive into an obstacle, when the health falls to zero, the scene is restarted. Reset the value of the health property. Drag to close the properties panel and close up the logic bricks. Give them a meaningful name before you do so. Use the white triangles to close the logic bricks up. Now, while I'm here, I'm going to add a sound actuator. And I'm going to link to a sound file of breaking glass. Change play stop to play end. Give that a meaningful name. Close that up. And I'm going to use the up arrow to move it up one and connect that so that it is played when the car collides with an obstacle. At the moment, if the car flips over onto its side or onto its roof, there is nothing we can do except press the escape key. Select the car in the outliner window. I'm going to add some logic bricks that will flip the car over. Close up the collision logic bricks giving them meaningful name first. Add a keyboard sensor, an AND controller, and a motion actuator. Click on the key field and press F on the keyboard, F flip. In the y torque value, the rotational force, enter a large value, 10,000, and that will be local to the car's y-axis. Connect that up, and when we start the game engine and press F on the keyboard, the car flips. The next problem I'm going to deal with is the car falling off the edge of the world, falling to infinity, and the user having no alternative but to press the escape key. Click the plus button to open up the properties panel. Click the add game property button. Call the new property height. Change the type to integer. And click the information button to display it in the debug area. Drag to close the properties panel. Scroll up and add an always sensor. I'm going to have to add one line of code, so add a Python controller. In the text editor window, in the templates menu, select game logic simple. Highlight these lines of code and press the delete key. Now the cursor should be indented the same amount as the line above. The indentation is very important in Python. The line of code that goes here is own square bracket quote height 
gain properties are put in quotes and square brackets equals own dot position dot z this method gets the current controller which is the Python 3 controller and stores it in a variable this method gets the owner of the controller which is the car and stores it in a variable this is the z position of the owner object the car and it is stored in the game property height drag with the middle mouse button to scroll the menu bar rename the script height.py select the script in the Python controller very important is to click this button which will change the triggering to pulse mode connect up the logic bricks start the game and as I drive onto the ramp the height changes finally add a property sensor an AND controller and a scene actuator when the property height is equal to minus 50 send a signal through the AND controller to the scene actuator to restart the scene now if I drive forward and deliberately drive over the edge when the height falls to minus 50 the scene restarts that's the end of the tutorial I'll put the start file, the end file and the sound file for you to download at my website www dot freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.